What's up folks, welcome back, this is part 25 of Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. Last time we started up halfway through Route 119, this time we're heading into the Weather Institute and probably continuing our discussion of Final Fantasy XV. Peep the team off the music, of course things are going down. Nothing actually over, I hate how the entrance is off the kilter like that. Like, I think the entrance is, let's see, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's 7 steps to the right, and then... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it's equal against the base, but it's like this stupid entrance is off the It kind of bothers me. Alright, talk to this guy. While I was sleeping, everyone went upstairs. Yeah, so there's a bed here. You can rest. Kind of useful. They do that mostly because it is kind of... This is a really long route. Uh, we can arrange our Pokemon. Actually, let me see. Do I have any potions in here? I don't think I do. But uh, item storage. Withdraw. Black glasses. Nothing, really. Okay, whatever. Right, so we got some grunts to fight. I will fight them. Let's do this now. That's a girl grunt. She's not the, uh... And she's not the boss lady either. I think she's on the second floor. Huh? What's a kid doing here? Let's fight. So yeah, back to Final Fantasy XV. Um, I appreciate... Well, speaking of its comparison to me to thirteen, as technically part of the Nova Crystallia series, even though I think that they got rid of that connection at some point, um, I've been hearing, you know, conflicting reports. But, uh... I I appreciate 13 because of its linearity and its focus on story. I think you got way better character development than I've gotten so far. Like, I understand who the four main characters are in 13, but I'm like, why do I care about any of them other than Noctis? And even Noctis, it's kind of like... I mean, I, I get the, the whole plot, at least as far as I've gotten. I'm only a few hours into the story. Um, but you're kind of trying to get back to the center city and figure out whether... People are dead, they're alive, or what happened. Um, so it's, I guess, it's shrouded in mystery, kind of like their packs are so far. We don't know much about them. Um, but I don't know. They, they just, they, I, I appreciate the dialogue and the interactions between the two. I just don't find as much connection or as much information is given. Um, I, I think there might be something like a data log in the game. It's not exactly like a data log, but I want to say there might be an option you can read something like a story. But I might be mistaken. I might just be thinking about 13. But the more I think about both these games, I I start to realize how 13, 13 2, and 13 3, if they were just like one giant game and had all the combinations in it, that would be like the perfect game. And then you throw some Final Fantasy 15 stuff in there. I love the story of 13, the the gameplay mechanics of 13-2. Um, I, I appreciate having monsters. I do wish I had just a regular third-party member in that game. Um, but I did appreciate having monsters be able to train up your monsters so you could kind of have some customization there, too. Um, and then, like, the, the side questy stuff of Final Fantasy 13 Lightning Returns, or Final Fantasy 13 3, as I like to say, that, that would make it the best. Because 13 3, you have side missions that you can you can do it. it's not just a fetch quest it's not just go here get this item like it is in 15 um and i don't i'm like i said i'm early in the game in 15 but i don't see that changing uh but 15 or 13 three side quests are pretty involved at times uh because you might have to take things you might have to find something in one area and go to a different area to confirm that and then you know, go back to that area i mean they're still largely fetch quests but they're a little bit more varied and you know the time of day affects things and all sorts of nuances that aren't just hey i need you to catch this fish or i need you to kill this monster and then bring me its carcass back so i can make sure you did it that's what a lot of final fantasy 15's missions are and i've played for maybe it's like between 13 and 15 hours at this point um and i've been trying to pace myself but the more i do side quests the less and less i care about actually doing more side quests because they are kind of boring um and then you have some that are just boring, you know, go fish a fish side quest, but then you get something really cool. Like, I just did one for Navith, 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 whatever, the fisherman guy, and he gives you a friggin' fisherman rod. And then it's like, okay, I didn't know I needed that. I didn't know I needed to talk to you to get that, or do that mission to get it. You don't know the reward until you do it, but, you know, there you go, you get a fisherman rod. Um, so it's, it's all interesting. I'm not bored with the game by any stretch of the imagination, but I definitely see where. A smaller or a little bit more contained hub world would not be a terrible thing. Uh, 
it, it's just really tiring going back from point A to point B all the time. But I guess that's enough on po on Final Fantasy 15. We are here with Pokemon Sapphire. I am so excited. To be here, though. I hope Cactus evolves. He should evolve. There's no reason why he shouldn't at this point. So we can see that. That's nice. Get a nice cat turn. I realize that a lot of my Pokemon. Oh, we get Crunch. Let's go. Crunch is amazing, as you can tell. Crunch is basically bite, uh, but lowers special defense and may lower special defense. It's 80 power, and whereas bite causes flinching, which I find a little bit more useful um, because Pincher, he's gonna, he can lower your special defense with Crunch, but he doesn't know any special attacks, so it doesn't really make sense. Um, so really, it's nothing like bite at all. <laughs> but whatever you do, don't press B, bro. Don't press B. What? Cactus is evolving. I should totally. I was thinking of waiting until level 37 because I think Cac turn Cac Nia, the first evolution learns Needle Arm level 37, whereas Cac turn learns at level 39. So not a huge, huge difference. If I have rare candies, I might just boost them up to get that a little bit quicker. Um, so we won't have a really good grasp move for most of the game actually, um, or at least until he evolves. But there's Cac turn. I will show him off in his full glory. He he still has Sand Veil. The ability, huh? Um, so he won't. I know he, he gets higher evasion on Sandstorm. I'm not sure. I don't think that Sandstorms affect him either. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. But you won't see too many Sandstorms. Same moves. And uh, so Pinsir is really our main priority. I will. Hey, I'll keep going with Pinsir because I want to make sure I have Fly sooner rather than later. But I realize in Pokemon Moon, I have a lot of single evolution. Be a single evolution Pokemon, so they just evolve one time. Um, I think the only ones that evolve three times are freaking my starter and Magnism. So that's kind of interesting. I find, I think I picked a terrible team because I wanted to make sure that I didn't use any old Pokemon because it's kind of boring to put you know a Pikachu or a freaking Rattata, even if it's a dark Rattata or like a dark Persian, which I think yo, Persian, the new Persian looks so doofy. He, he has the same Meowth round face as a... The same round Meowth face as the Meowth, only on a Persian body, so it looks super doofy. But, <laughs> but I don't know, I didn't want to use any of those because it's kind of boring. I might have used like an Alolan Sand Slash or an Alolan uh, Vulpix, because that's kind of cool with the whole Ice Steel or Ice Fairy, I think, that Vulpix is. Um, but largely, I'm like, I don't really care. Uh, let's check out... The back sprite for Cacturn here. It's kind of weird. He looks really short, even though he's like four feet tall. Well, I guess that is kind of short. <laughs> but I feel like in the anime he was way taller. He was taller than freaking Harvey, the guy who had him. I think that was his name. I haven't watched the anime in years. Maybe Jogi. I think they're on. Are they on to like Moon yet? Have they finished X and Y? Like I remember when they got to Black and White, and I was like, no. The last time I watched the anime was like the very start of uh, Silk, not Silver. Uh, the very start of. What's actually. Uh, I don't want to say it. There's a thing downstairs. Um, the last time I watched the anime was like the very start of Sinnoh. Because I remember Dawn and her Piplup and how Piplup was like, I don't trust you, B. And that was like the end of it for me. I remember the advanced battles. I, basically, once Ash finished the. Pokemon League, and, or right right before he got to the Pokemon League in Ruby Sapphire and like that area, Hoenn, I kind of started to lose interest. Like when he did the trials, the battle pyramid, and all that stuff, I was like, I don't really care because it's not gym leaders. And I'm like, what are you even doing? The whole reason I enjoyed the anime is to see the animated versions of the different cities he went to. Like that's from being a kid, that was always the coolest thing. Like when you see. Celadon City, and it's like veiled in rainbow, and all these buildings, or you see like they're on their way to Celadon City, and they stop by that city that has the hair salon with Brock is all up in that woman's Vulpix and whatnot. I forgot who he's going to send down, so we'll just go to Sludge, Arizona over here. Um, and so I always like seeing how they portray the different cities. Like Pewter City was amazing because it was in the mountains, it was veiled by the mountains. You had that water well. It was just really cool to see the different. Uh, Trails of city places, even like Grinchy City, um, or that one city where the kids were getting freaking stolen by the hippo. Um, even that I thought was pretty cool. But it's just 
the, the anime, I, I'm tired of seeing Ash, who's still 10 years old. Like, even Naruto and freaking Goku, they aged up at some point. So, I can't understand why they won't do that with Ash. Um, I mean, he still looks like he's the 10 year old, just with a new coat of paint on him. Um, and he still sucks. Like, I don't care. I'm pretty sure he still sucks, so. Ahaha, ah, ahaha, ha, ha, ha. we got muddled with unexpectedly. We're out of options. We have to pull out. I'm sure that's not the. <laughs> oh god, I'm sure that's not the only time you have to pull out. <laughs> that's funny. Thanks to you, it's safe. So this guy, okay, I have to see. That's why it's kind of cool. Um, I'll come back. This dude has a Pokemon to us, which is a weird way of saying thank you. I don't think the only other people who do that are like. Bill and his family, I think, in Gold, Silver, and Crystal, and of course the OG Pokemon games. Um, but actually, if you want to get this Pokemon, especially if you have, uh, what's his face, a Marshmallow, so we're going to actually deposit Mr. Mr. Tomp here, Mr. Marsh Tomp, and go back upstairs to get this Pokemon, because while I don't think that the Pokemon itself is all too interesting, um, I mean, he's kind of cool, but he's just a single evolutionary Pokemon. Can I read these books? There's actually another library in the new Pokemon games, which is kind of exciting. Uh, kind of like Cantalave City. Thanks, thanks to you, we're safe. Oh, I already read this, okay. So he gives us Cast Form. Cast Form is a normal type who, as you can tell, Pokemon changes shape according to the weather. Wait, is he an experiment? Is he an experiment? No, okay. That's kind of weird too, because he's researching rain. I don't think there are too many other natural uh, weather patterns, despite this being all fixed on weather. Um, it's kind of interesting. But let's go and I'll show you cast form really quickly. He's not too interesting, like I said. His forecast ability, I think he's one of the only Pokemon that has that, if not the only um, change with the weather. So, as you can tell, he has Powder Snow, and then four or three field moves. Rain Dance, Sunny Day, and Hail. So he changes Fire, Water, and Ice type based on what he has. He also comes with the Mystic Water, which boosts uh, water type move effectiveness. effectiveness. So that's good to have for, uh, what's his face, um, Marsh Tom. We'll definitely put that really quickly on him as well. Oddly enough, um, the new games got rid of the withdrawn deposit queue, which is actually pretty cool because I never, like, these are so cumbersome, they just get in the way. But I don't give, and we'll give him, where's it, where's it, where's it? Mystic Water. So there you go. Suited up, booted, suited and booted, if you will. And we can, uh, actually, can I go back? I want to see. I don't think you can ever talk to those guys. Um, the dude won't come out the freaking doorway. Yeah, I really want to put in the walkthrough walls cheat, because I'd love to know if those guys are programmed to say anything. They probably are, but you'll never get to hear it in the regular game. Because I think that dude stays there for the entire game. Can I look at this? No. It's a desktop, but it has no keyboard, no mouse. That's cool, G. And, let's see, anything else? Wow, you're really strong! I wish I could be a Pokemon trainer like you! Maybe someday. I mean, in the new games, you can be like three years old with Pokemon. And as you can tell, you can cross the bridge, and actually, this is actually, this is actually, 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 how many times am I going to say actually? We're right by the end of this route. I kind of want to stop, but there's something coming up, and this, I will point out, this is kind of cool. If you have an old rod, there's six spots, um, do I have an old rod? I do have an old rod. There's six spots in this route here. Um, we'll actually hop in and I'll show you. I'm not sure where the six spots are, but there's six different spots. Uh, specific spots. They may or may not change, but there's specific spots that you can fish one specific one. How many times do I say specific? It is Feebass, which Feebass is actually a really crappy water type. Um, I used a repel. I used a repel. You better be like a whole 50. Oh, okay. Kind of, kind of okay. Whatever. Um, run? Can I run? But Evas, it's like the Magikarp of this generation, um, where it evolves into a really super cool Pokemon, but it starts out as like a really turdy fish Pokemon. And it is uh, Milotic. Milotic we will see later, uh, much later. And Milotic is pretty, pretty beastly. Uh, pretty godlike, we'll say. Won't dispute that. But, uh,. You can fish him out in like six different spots in this water. He's really hard to find. You can only evolve him as well by uh, raising his beauty, and I think he's like win the contest or something. Um, you definitely have to raise his beauty and then evolve him. I'm not sure if there's a level requirement, but you do have to get the beauty to max. Um, and I don't think you can even screw with like 
any other stat. If you boost them elsewhere, you screw up. So, really kind of uh, unfortunate. But do I wanna, I'm, I'm gonna finish this off. We'll finish this route and then we'll get to. Actually, we won't finish it up. There's a little bit more. But let's start with uh, this here. I think they'll come in handy. And of course, we stop. What's that music? It's May. Bran, where were you? I was looking for you. How much stronger have you gotten? Let me check for you. Ready for your Pokemon? Of course you are. Go! So, unlike the new gens, these guys, they will fight you after you've been through a heck of a rat. Like, they won't even, they won't, they won't heal you up. I mean, all the new, the new friggin' team. Oh, I started with the wrong Pokemon. Okay. Uh, well, we'll, we'll switch to Bran. All the new gens, you know, the, the friends like Hal, even in black and white ones, they always hear and heal you. Like they make a point, they're like, oh, I can't fight you while you're Pokemon a week, that's unfair. So, not so much in the middle of the game, which is fine, it's a nice little added challenge, you kind of really got to manage your items and your Pokemon like that. But Nummel, Numel, Nummel, Nummel, Numel, <laughs> Numel, <laughs> is dead, Grovile is next. Alright, so we can go Arizona, we can go, it's probably actually the only choice. Actually, let's go Cactus, because Bug is super effective on grass. Because I guess what? Bugs eat leaves, and that's why that happens. Sure, we'll go with that. So we're going to actually pin this up. That should do exactly 7 damage, I'm calling it, with a crit. Holy, holy, that did a lot. And hopefully, if I get 4 hits, you're dead. But we're not going to get 4 hits, because you never get 4 hits in a Pokemon won't hit moves, because we only get 3 hits. That's exactly what happens every single time. They played worthy yellow now. We are not going to yellow. You're done, though. And we'll. You may. I guess it is only 85. 85 accuracy. Alright, let's send out Arizona so we don't die. We have a sweet experience. But I've never actually used him on loaded on my team. I kind of want to. But I feel like it's just cheating because he's so good. And then I feel like it's so hard you got to find freaking feedback. And then you got to use contests and blend the berries that only give beauty. It's just such a hassle. Maybe some. Alright, so Grovile's down. Sadly, I found that this rival is not the best rival um, in the game. It's it's kind of unfortunate. Whalemer. We have nobody who can take out water types until the Cactus learns. Uh, Needle Arm, it's unfortunate. I guess Pooh has shot really close, so that's good. Um, but yeah, this, this Rob, which is kind of a shame. It's kind of a shame because she only has. I think the next time we fight her. The next time we fight her is the last time we fight her. So that's really unfortunate, actually. Uh, she gets one more Pokemon. I think a Swellow. Does she have a Swellow? She might have a Swellow now. Because she definitely is gonna fly away. I remember that much. I think. Let's see. She better have a swell. No, she doesn't. Okay, so if she flies away, this is kinda wonky. I've never noticed this. I hope she doesn't fly away. She must bite away. Get you too, and if you can tell by my allusions to flying, she is the one who gives us fly. Um if you get gym bash before she Okay, please tell me please tell me you don't fly. Okay, good, she doesn't fly. So, she doesn't have a flying Pokemon, and she doesn't have fly. But that's going to be the end of this episode. I will get back to that uh, in a bit. This has been episode 14. Episode 25 was for Pokemon Sapphire. Next time, we will finish off this route. There's like one more trainer. Ninja Boy, what are you doing? I can see you. You're not a tree. We'll fight him and head off into Fortree. So, thanks again for watching. I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.